Dear friends, Prophet Elijah was asked to proclaim a famine by the Lord and then he himself was asked to go to a brook, fountain, Wadi Kerith. And the Lord told him, the ravens will take care of you. The crows of the forest will take care of you. We were told that the ravens brought him bread and also meat every day, morning and evening. After some time, because of the famine he proclaimed, the fountain became dry. He had no more water to drink. Maybe the ravens also stopped coming to feed him. Now the Lord orders him, go to a widow in Sarafat. I have commanded her to take care of you, to feed you. Ravens, unclean birds, they are taking care of the prophet in a land which must respect the prophets. And widow of a foreign land needs to take care of the prophet. It only tells us, if you are faithful to God, God will provide you everything through unexpected sources. We need to believe in the providence of God. God will make use of the ravens. God will make use of the widow. Secondly, we are called upon to look at this widow also. The prophet initiates a conversation with her. Come on, give me a little water. She goes to fetch water. As she is going, he says, bring me bread also. The woman gets a shock. I am preparing my last meal for me and my son. A handful of meal is there in the jar and a little oil left in the jug. You are asking me to prepare, make bread for you. The prophet reassures her, believe in the word of God, believe in the word of God. And the woman goes, bakes bread. As the prophet told her, the jar is never empty for three and a half years and the jug is never dry for three and a half years. Fathers of the church, especially St. Ambrose, have written about this passage so much. The woman believed the word of God humble woman who had no support believed the word of God. That is our daily nourishment as I said at the introduction. The jar of mail that is our daily Eucharist and the oil we need to live on charity also. That is our daily source of life. May we look at the prophet Elijah. May we look at the woman who believed the word and obeyed and experience great miracle. Not only now, later on also, when the sun dies, let us trust in divine providence. God will take care of us. No need of unnecessary anxieties and worries, especially the first year philosophers, how I am going to spend in this place seven years and so on. God will take care of us, if only we believe in the Lord. We trust his word. Amen.